San Martino, Via Dega e Provo Vigno. Via Dega Provo Vigno. So head to the cellar and try the Vigno. That's not a bad idea, yeah. is it? Yes, yes, it's not a bad idea. No. No, oh, not at all. It's an idea. And of course, today oh, look we me. should try Zurupiga. Yes. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> do that face again. <laughs> you look, mmm, Zurupiga. Mm. <laughs> You're actually going to try it. Actually... No, not, not yeah. now. Later. <laughs> I'm going to drink it later <laughs> with, right. with my chestnuts. With your right? chestnuts, of course. Okay. With my mm, nice nuts. Um, and yes. uh, the, the chestnuts, these are still raw. But the, just to tell you that before you roast your chestnuts, you have to cut them, right? Uh, so um, you, that's you a very important the... safety message. Have I got that right? Muito bem, Carlitos. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so. A lenda de São Martinho. Segundo reza a lenda, num dia frio e tempestuoso de outono, um soldado romano, de nome Martinho, percorria o seu caminho, montado a cavalo, quando deparou com um mendigo cheio de fome e frio. O soldado, conhecido pela sua generosidade, tirou a capa que envergava e com a espada cortou-a ao meio, cobrindo o mendigo com uma das partes. Mais adiante, encontrou outro pobre homem cheio de frio e ofereceu-lhe a outra metade. Sem capa, Martinho continuou a sua viagem ao frio, ao vento, quando de repente, e como por milagre, o céu se abriu, afastando a tempestade. Os raios de sol começaram a aquecer a terra e o bom tempo prolongou-se por cerca de três dias. Desde essa altura, todos os anos, por volta do dia 11 de novembro, surgem esses dias de calor a que se passou a chamar Verão de São Martinho. Wonderful. Now, thank you so much for that. That's a, <laughs> and the lovely thing about that is that I was able to pick out quite a lot of what you were saying there. And I think others yeah, can With my miming. <laughs> the miming, the slashing of the cape and everything. Yes, I think people can feel proud of themselves there if they picked out a word or two and probably realizing they understand more um, than they thought they might. So you, yes, certainly the, so. the, the three days and cutting the cape in half and the, and the three days of summer and the 11th of, of November, November, it's all in there. The Roman soldier, Romano, um, and the Tempesh. The, the, the whole, there's so much vocabulary in there that I think people will have been able to identify. So let us know how you got on with that. And what I'll do is I will also yeah. do a little edit so that we've got that segment of the show for future reference and we can break it down and you can use it as a way of learning your language, everybody. So, Philomena, thank you. That was beautiful. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, so just to add that uh, he was buried in uh, the city of Tours um, on the 11th of November, 397. So that's why we celebrate uh, St. Martin on the 11th of November, the day he was buried. <laughs> 